Today, I'm going to be sharing with you how I turned this ACOS into this ACOS in about three weeks. And this was using a powerful tool called Stream from Perpetua, formerly known as Celex. Luckily today, you can actually try Stream absolutely free by signing up for a demo at the link in the pinned comment below. But this will all make a lot more sense as I explain it. So smash like and let's jump into it on screen. This is Perpetua and you can see all of the different sections in this menu panel, including stream, but currently we're on sponsored products. And you can see your ACOS, cost per click, click through rate and conversion rate. You can also bring those up on the graph to see the day to day. But this doesn't tell us exactly how to optimize these specific metrics. And that is why we're going to jump into stream where we can actually start looking at when campaigns do well or don't do well. And in here, you can view this by the day of the week, the time of day, or both together. You can also filter by specific campaigns or your whole account or goals you've created in Perpetua. And here we're looking at this month, 10 August, 10 September, when this campaign was doing well. So we're trying to see what can we replicate and how can we improve the current performance of the campaign? So looking at ACOS only, we can see in terms of time of day when it's very high, like 1 a.m. or when it's low, like 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. So you can start to find specific points in the day when your campaigns do well, like 7 to 11 p.m. is really good here. Also cost per click. And you'll notice when ACOS is lower, usually your cost per click will also be a bit lower. Again, the 7 to 10 p.m. area looks good. You can also look at conversion rates. Again, we do see a bump in conversion rate around that nighttime period. And click through rate. So if we toggle this on, we can again, hour by hour, actually look at specifically click through rates alone. Here we definitely see a big spike at that 9 p.m. point. And so in this way, all of these metrics kind of are going to come together and show you why your ACOS is low or high at certain points. But focusing on ACOS specifically, this is what we want to optimize for. And you can see we have a very high ACOS in the early morning hours here, then very low at 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. So we're taking notes of this 8 a.m. to 12 is really just middle ground low at 1 p.m. 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. is kind of again that middle range and then from 7 p.m. we really start to see it dropping 8 p.m. is excellent so is 9 and so on so the night time is the best for our ACOS in terms of cost per click it also looks similar here with the best being night time so in this case optimizing for ACOS you're finding the best kind of middle and worst times of day then you want to create a document time of day by ACOS. And you can see, for example, here at 12 a.m., it's about 40%. The worst is between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m., very high. 5 a.m., down at 7%, and so on for every hour. Then you can also look at day of the week. Once you're done with time of day, we have our same metrics here. And we can see Sunday quite high, then Monday gets lower. Tuesday is very good, 18. Wednesday up again, 54. Thursday coming down again. Friday is very good, 17. And then bumping up more to the middle ground Saturday. Now that we have time of day, we can also do day of the week. So you're going to create your own document. Best days of the week, Tuesday and Friday. Middle, Thursday and Saturday. And the worst, Sunday and Wednesday. Then you can also look at this day of the week and time of day together. And again, on our same metrics, but we're going to focus on ACOS. And you can see this little shaded bar. If you hover over the lightest color, that's your lowest ACOS areas and ascending from there. So by looking at these different shaded boxes, you can find your varying ACOS levels by day, but also time of day. So these darkest ones are going to be your worst ACOS areas. Then you can just view all of them at once, but you're identifying good and bad areas and then creating a document for both 
time of day and day of week just like this. But now you have the best time of day for ACOS, the best days of the week for ACOS and the best time of day and day of the week for ACOS. Then you want to click bid multiplier schedules at the top. You're going to click new schedule to create your own name that and click save changes. Here you have your own day parting schedule with all the days of the week and the hours of those days. So now that you have your own document of best times of the day and days of the week, you now have your day parting schedule. And this is when we're going to marry them together. And you're basically able to use that data to adjust your bids and in that way ensure you're only running aggressive ads when you know they perform well and you're reducing the bids when you know your campaigns do not perform well. So bring up your document next to your schedule here. You can see 100% is filled in in every slot. What this means is Perpetua will run 100% of your bid at this time of this day. So if you're bidding a dollar, Perpetua will bid one dollar on that keyword. However, you can change this. So if we change this to 90, that is 90% of our bid. That means although your bid's one dollar, Perpetua is going to adjust it down to 90 cents, 90% 90 of your bid. And so this is how you're going to be able to actually adjust your bids based on when you know your campaign performs well or not well. And so then we can begin calibrating 12 a.m. 40% ACOS. We're going to leave that at 100% of the bid, but 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. high ACOS. We're definitely going to adjust here. So 1 a.m. we're going to drop this down to zero. This will actually pause all bids on keywords in the campaign at this time. And then, of course, for 2, 3 and 4 a.m., we will repeat here. So we're going to drop all of these, pause all of these hours here. 5 a.m., 7% ACOS, really good. So we're going to increase the bid to 150. I hope that makes sense that if you keep it at 100, it's literally just going to run the bid that you've put in on Seller Central for all of your keywords in your campaign. But if you lower it, let's say to 50, then it's going to run half your bid amount for all your keywords in your campaign. And of course, if you put it at zero, it's literally pausing your all your keywords in that campaign at that time of that day then you can raise it. So you could put it at 150 and it's going to run 1.5 or you could put it at 200 and it's going to run double your bids for all your keywords in your campaign at that time of that day. And then continuing 6 a.m. I'm going to put this one at 130 just because this area is good. 7 a.m. really good. So I'm going to put this at 150 and continuing. So 8 a.m. through 11 a.m. is pretty normal. 12 p.m. very bad. I'm going to pause all keywords at this point. 1 p.m. really good. So we're going to raise this to 150. 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. are decent. We'll leave those alone. 4 and 5 p.m. are quite good. So we are going to bump the bids a bit here. 130 and we are going to just continue as per the strategy here. 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. is very good. So here we're going to definitely be raising these bids as well. Now every hour of Sunday is complete. One more thing. Look at the worst time of day and day of the week. Your very worst moment. So on Sunday that's 9 a.m. is very bad. So we're going to pause that hour. We also at 12 p.m. not good on Sunday. That's already paused though. And then Sunday at 2 p.m. also not good. So we are going to pause this one as well. Then we're going to actually replicate this across to Monday. So across all of the hours moving down and all the other days of the week, as you see here. But then we're going to specifically look at days of the week. So which are the best middle and worst days of the week and make slight adjustments. So Sunday and Wednesday are our worst. So we're actually going to reduce the bids just slightly here from 150 to 130 and so on. And the best days of the week are Tuesday and Friday. So on these days, we're actually going to raise those bids a little bit. So 130 may go to 140 and so on for each of those days, because those are our best performing days. And lastly, look at the worst performing time of day and day of the week. Tuesday, 7 a.m., for example, we have it at 150. We're definitely going to be dropping that to 50 percent of the bid. We also need to look at 9 a.m., but that's already paused. 
then Sunday, 9 a.m. is already paused, and then 12 p.m. already paused. And you're going to move through the rest of the days just like this, making sure you're not bidding too much at your weakest points of performance. This way you're just covering your bases and your day potting schedule is complete for every day. Click Save Changes and your schedule has been updated. Lastly, at the very top right, you'll be able to apply to goals to apply this to a campaign. Now, before you can apply your day potting schedule to a goal, you need to have a perpetual goal and a perpetual goal is really a campaign. So it is a campaign that will go live on your Seller Central account as well, but you create it within Perpetua and it's a campaign with a specific goal. Uh, for example, a specific target ACOS. In this case, it was set to 30%. So we're targeting a 30% ACOS. But let me show you on screen. In Perpetua, come up from stream and click on sponsored products. At the bottom in the goals tab, you want to click on new goal. This is going to allow you to create your own goal. Select your targeting type and we're going to choose universal targeting at the top here. Then give your goal a name. We're also going to leave universal targeting on. Then give it a target ACOS and daily budget. Click advanced. Here you can add keyword and product targets. Click add targets. Then of course you're going to add your targets as you do with any PPC campaign. So these will be your most important keywords you know customers use. It also has various harvesting types. So it will actually automatically gather and include the best keywords from, for example, an automatic campaign to an exact match campaign. And in campaign management, you can set which campaigns you want to run. By default, it has product targeting, automatic and keyword targeting. You can also set your bidding strategy as you would within campaign manager. So dynamic bids down only, for example. And so here you can either create a brand new campaign. So you don't even have a campaign for your product. And then Perpetua in the process is going to help you actually optimize that campaign. But you might already have an optimized campaign, but you just want to do day parting. Then what you can do is actually replicate that same campaign as a goal in Perpetua. And that is exactly what I did here. So you're just taking the exact same targets, whether they're keywords or ASINs, and you're putting them into your Perpetua goal and creating that goal. Once you are happy, click done at the bottom right. This will create your goal. Then back on sponsored products under goals, you will see your newly created goal. But most importantly, back on stream with your day parting schedule, you can click apply to goals and you will see your goal. You can then select that goal and at the bottom click apply successfully applied one goals to the schedule. So now your campaign is going to run per this schedule. So your bids are only going to run at 100% when you've set them to. They're not going to run at all when you've set it to 0% or paused. And they might run double if you set some time periods to 200. But once applied, here is what happened. Now do keep in mind I recreated my campaign as a goal in Perpetua. So week one is not going to be good. No surprises here. A cost 75% and you can see all of the other metrics. But in week two, the A cost dropped to 40% and some of the other metrics began looking very good. Conversion rate 5.2%. And then in week three, we have 21% A cost. So way down a click through of 2.1 and conversion rate 6.9 although the cost per click is a little bit up, but that A cost is still drastically better than before. And then an overall before and after, Seller Central and Perpetua showing the same data. So these will align closely. This is before and then after Seller Central Perpetua. You can see the results are better after. And remember that also includes the 75%, 40% initial weeks because I haven't had that much time to run these campaigns. But do remember, you only need a goal to use day parting. You can use stream for even your existing campaigns already on Seller Central. And you can do that for free by signing up for a demo today. You can do that at the link in the pinned comment below. But I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash like for me. Don't forget to sub and I will catch you in the next video.